So the basis for the Uncharted 4 storyline has been revealed. Now, it is just the basis, just the plot and stuff like that, and like the basics of the story, but... And I have the basis of the storyline right here online, and this is 100% confirmed from Naughty Dog, so I'm going to read it right now. Basically, the story is three years after Uncharted 3, and Drake has settled down with his wife, Elena, and his routine is disrupted with Sam, his older brother, which was assumed to be dead, comes back into his life. And Sam says that he must find a legendary pirate artifact as his life hangs in the balance. And just like that, with the promise of adventure and the opportunity to help a family member, Drake is back in. Their journey will take Drake and Sam to Libertia, a mythical pirate colony in Madagascar. Now, though Naughty Dog said that the whole game's not going to take place only in Madagascar, and actually the source, that they said that the game will also tease snow areas, like s snow environments and urban areas. Now, this, this is actually unconfirmed. But I can see it happening, and honestly, if we go back to snow areas like we did in Uncharted 2, I will be extremely happy. I loved the ice and snow in Uncharted 2. Let me just say, them graphics with the ice, what they did with the graphics, freaking amazing. I, I just loved that whole area of the game. It was really good. Also, Naughty Dog confirmed that Uncharted 4 will have a multiplayer. Not very surprising, but I am super excited for this multiplayer because if you guys didn't know... My favorite multiplayer of all time is Uncharted 2 multiplayer. It was so good. It was balanced. Like, I, I loved it. Like, it was true skill. No kill streaks, no BS. It was just you, your gun, and your aim. And your reaction time, basically. It was you, your gun, and your skill. Like, everything's balanced. There's no type of crutches or, or anything like that. Like if, like, if you're taking your beating, if you're dying a lot, then you're going to die a lot. You have to, like, deal with your situation. You have to learn how to become good on your own in that game there's no help basically it's like pure skill you know what i mean like basically you have to get raped in the game you have to get destroyed in it in order to learn like i like i like being raped in the game wait no, that sounded <laughs> that sounded completely wrong but i like it when the game rapes you and then you just learn how to be good at it that sounded really weird but like you literally get destroyed and destroyed until like you get everything right there's certain games like that where you just have to get beaten up until you learn oh okay it's this way oh okay it's that way you know what i mean but the reason i like those kind of games and multiplayers that really destroy you is because they're so hard but once you learn it and you be and you like master it even though it's so hard it's way more satisfying it's way more satisfying being good at a really hard game than being good at a really easy game that's why i really like the hard games where you keep getting destroyed and destroyed and just like Raped, basically. That's what they call it. That's what all the multiplayer freaks call it. But also, back to the campaign side of things, we know that during the story, Drake and Sam aren't really going to get along too much, even though, yes, they are family. But we know that there's going to be a lot of conflicts between them, and it's really going to reveal a lot of Drake's feelings towards family and stuff like that. It's going to show a lot of his character coming out. And Naughty Dog has a lot of things to reveal about Drake. As we know in Uncharted 3, we know that Drake isn't even his real name. So technically, the... We don't even we've been playing him for three games and we don't even know what his real name is. We don't know what his name is. Like there's so many mysteries behind him. We know that his mother committed suicide and we don't really know. I think uh, his dad got locked up in prison or something. No, his dad tried to sell him or something like that or get rid of him. So there's a lot of deep things about Drake or whatever his name is that needs to be revealed in Uncharted 4. So that is why it's pretty obvious that Uncharted 4 might be a somewhat sad Uncharted or it's going to be much deeper than any other Uncharted we've played so far. And I, I really can't wait. So I'm really I'm going to be really upset if this is the last Uncharted. Now Naughty Dog didn't it, it's not like 100%. There is no 100% direct evidence that this is the last Uncharted. Now it most likely will be, but uh, if if it is the last Uncharted, I'm going to be super sad. I'm not even going to lie. Whenever I found out the name of the game was uh Uncharted 4 A Thief's End and whenever in the end of the trailer whenever Sully said one last time and that's kind of the way they ended off the trailer. Uh, you know how Drake and Sully both said one last time, that's how the trailer ended? I was really sad about that. I was like, oh my god, Uncharted is done. And really, guys, to be honest, Uncharted literally is the way I got into games. Before Uncharted, I really didn't give too much fudges. I really didn't care too much about games, really. But when I saw that Uncharted 4, I mean, when, whenever I saw Uncharted, it was Uncharted 2 was the first Uncharted I ever saw. Oh my god, let me tell you, first of all, I was a little kid, right? And 
Me seeing Uncharted 2 the way I did was the first time I saw anything of that graphical fidelity. I've never seen anything with that high graphics in my life before. Remember, I was a little kid, right? So whenever I first saw Uncharted 2, I was blown away. I was like, oh my god, I have to get a PS3. Uncharted 2 is literally the reason I bought a PS3. That's the whole reason I really started games. If it wasn't for Uncharted 2, I wouldn't have started the YouTube channel. I wouldn't have, like, I wouldn't have... I, I really wouldn't have been playing games today, probably. Like, Uncharted 4 was really what got me to, like, oh my god, dude, I have to, like, start playing games like these. Like, Uncharted 4, I cannot wait. So, yeah, guys, kind of a short video. I have another Uncharted video coming. And, yeah, that's basically the basis of the Uncharted 4 story. It's going to be, uh, you know, a relationship with Drake and Sam. They go to Madagascar. They're looking for a legendary pirate treasure and if they don't find it basically sam will get killed that's the basis of the uncharted 4 story from what we know and yeah i don't think i missed anything oh also we know that in the uncharted 4 gameplay um we know that that takes place in south africa because of the accents of the enemies now in that part of the game they might actually not be in madagascar yet they might be because i don't think madagascar is considered part of africa i'm pretty sure it's just its own separate island so in that in that gameplay they might be in madagascar but at the same time they might not be because the accents of the enemies are south african and but maybe people in madagascar have the same accent as south africans so i'm really not sure so anyway guys hope y'all enjoyed that video i got another uncharted 4 video coming i got a story time so yeah guys subscribe for more uncharted 4 news i'm going to be doing a bunch of uncharted 4 videos coming soon i'm also doing a uncharted 4 wish list video which is going to be a really good video i cannot wait to post that and some zombie stuff and call of duty zombie stuff and yeah guys hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'll catch y'all on the next one peace in depth with the graphics that the hairs on his chest are going to be moving around and wiggling around depending on how hard the wind is going to be blowing uh, now it's just we are just uh, diffuse uh, the color of the eyes with just a pupil